I guess what I want to know is who is the choir and who is not the choir? Is it people who don't agree or people who aren't there yet? Well, I th the choir is people who actually understand that like there's something, the climate is an issue and there's something urgent happening here. Who is, who is the people we're supposed to be singing to? I just, you know, I'm just well, asking. In my, in my view, that's exactly the, the the question of this forum. In my view, the audience would be the CEOs and the um, the CEOs and the people, who, or the organisations and the institutions and the uh, the people who've got leverage to sh who are looking after thousands of employees to actually uh, share with them. This is what you can do. These are the things that you can do. So the audience would be the CEOs and uh, governors and politicians or whoever whoever they may be to come and uh, hear what the choir has to say well I, I if i may pitch in it's david uh for me the choir is also the people to whom the shift in climate uh will change their lives and their jobs so uh uh, for me, uh, people who are the heads of a miners' union are also part of this uh, uh, club because it's not just CEOs who will matter. It's also the people who are uh, worried about their job next year or next five years and have to be retrained and have to be reskilled and so on. So for me, what's missing in the non-choir discussion is those people who are in denial of the climate change because they say, oh, if I think that there is a climate change happening, that means that I lose my job. And uh, we have to tackle this, that uh, you cannot um, just talk to the people who are the employees, but the people who are worried about their uh, jobs, their families uh, next year. Exactly. So that, that'll, be, that'll be the audience. Those are the people we want to target. Um, obviously in this group, the train is leaving the station. Um, so we assume that everybody is on the train who's here and there's people out there. And I do um, wonder about the people who, it's not just that they're worried for their jobs, but who think the train is heading in the wrong direction, let's say. And in my humble opinion, unless we at least talk with them, <laughs> it's just another, I don't know, you know, you don't want to. You don't want to um, do what they're doing with the anti-vaxxers, for example. As soon as you ask a question about the vaccine, they label you. Absolutely. And the, and the same thing here. As soon as you ask any question, God help you, you are a denier. And honestly, there's some smart people out there who have questions. So to me, if I was going to stay interested, I'd want to hear from them. Like what it's I, 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 Miriam, I think you're, ab you're absolutely right. This is an opportunity for uh, the people who aren't the choir to actually share their, share their views and their questions. It's not, it's not, we're not, I don't believe it's, uh, we're not, what, what, I don't know what the word is when, you, when religious people try and tell you to become religious. Um, Conversion. We're not trying to convert anybody. This, this is an opportunity for for the discussion to become open and for us yeah, to share well, ideas. All right, but that's a different, dis and it, it, you know, I'm really, I don't know why I got on this call. I know nothing about the climate and I am going to be dead before it affects me. My children are gonna deal with it. Me too. But, uh, but I am on this call and I like everyone on the call that I know and I'm excited to be here. And it seems to me, that when I ask the question, who is not the choir, I would want to have a much wider thing. Thank I need for the to noise. be a little bit honest here because we have to be able to work together across different viewpoints. To me, this is even more fundamental than climate change. The fact that we are called to learn how to work together cooperatively, even if we disagree about some important things. Exactly. And in this area, my belief is not that our number one challenge 
is to convert more people to believe there are climate issues. I believe that there are two big issues related to that. One of them, there are lots of well-meaning people who don't really believe it and they're giving priority to other issues. And climate change gets lost because they're so busy trying to get other value from promoting climate change. But the second problem, which is the biggest of all, is that there are well-meaning people who just don't know what the cost-effective approaches are for us to work together to stay alive. There, there's an information gap. You would think that some guy like Bill Gates would have the best information system around in the world. And I've looked at his group that's doing AI for good and climate work. I have seen the technical details and the people he gives money to have screwed him over because they have their own local interest and there are information problems with getting the real science and technology out to the people who can do cost-effective investments, maybe even making profit for God's sake. There are technologies and economic organizations which can let us solve this problem. This is how I view it. Well, and, and Paul, I think I think the challenge is how do we how do we convince people that uh, our science is is better than the stuff they're being fed? And maybe it's not. Here's the interesting thing, Jan. Maybe it's not. What this forum is about is the ability to actually communicate and talk to each other. And as Paul said, is if we have the ability to talk to each other, there might be points of view on both sides that might be totally relevant. It's about it's about it's about connection, connecting, collaborating, and contributing. 